والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونتوب إليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له نشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ولا نظير له ولا مثال له ونشهد أن سيدنا محمدًا عبده وحبيبه ومحبوبه ورسوله وصلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وأولاده وأزواجه وأصحابه وأتباعه وخلفائه الراشدين المرشدين المهديين من بعده ووزرائه الكاملين في عهده خصوصاً منهم على الأئمة خلفاء رسول الله على التحقيق ساداتنا حضرة أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعلى بقية الصحابة والتابعين رضوان الله تعالى عليهم أجمعين إن الله مع الذين اتقوا والذين هم محسنون قال الله تعالى في محكم كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وسارعوا إلى مغفرة من ربكم وجنة عرضها كعرض السماء والأرض أعدت للمتقين وقال رسول الله صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم اللهم إني أسألك الجنة وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل وأعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل In the words of Holy Quran I have read Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and be quick towards forgiveness from your Lord and a paradise as west as the heavens and the earth prepared for those who have taqwa of Allah. When one of the companions asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what is the most important things that helps to enter paradise, he answered that it is taqwa being conscious and mindful of Allah and good manners. Dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us two lives, one after another. The first is this worldly life that is temporary, short, and must be benefited for the next. The second is the next life in the hereafter, which is the eternal and immortal. The life of this world is a difficult and temporary road to the hereafter. The life in the hereafter is a life in which the will finds what we have done in this world and see the full reward or punishment of our actions. There is either happiness or sadness for us in the next life. Those who try to be successful in the test of this world will attain the pleasure of Allah and enter paradise, the place of eternal blessings. Those who fail this test will suffer regret, disappointment, and punishment in the hereafter. Respected brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught us the way that will lead us to paradise and save us from hellfire in the Quran. Our Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam also showed this way by experiencing it himself. 
The end of this way is eternal happiness. This is a peaceful life that will never end. Let us together learn the characteristic of the travelers of this way in our today's khutbah. One can enter to this way of paradise, my brothers and sisters, by Iman, faith. Because eternal happiness is through Iman. The first condition of having Iman in his messengers, angels, holy books, the hereafter, and that predestination, Qadr, and divine decree, Qadr, are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A believer is a person who has submitted himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A true believer is a person who is committed to his Iman until his last breath. He does not lose his loyalty and submission even though he is exposed to many difficulties in this way. The condition of moving forward in this way to paradise, dear brothers and sisters, is worship, ibadah, and good work. Just as prayer performed with sincerity, fasting performed with sincerity, pilgrimage, hajj, zakat, and qurban sacrifice are acts of worship. Every good work done for the sake of Allah is also an act of worship. It is a worship to the good things, to our parents, spouses, children, neighbors, relatives, and to every living creature. Making life easy for each other, sharing the blessings and opportunities we have with our brothers, helping each other is a form of worship. It is an act of worship to be the hand of the person who cannot hold, the eye of the person who cannot see, the foot of the person who cannot walk, and the tongue of the person who cannot speak. In short, any work to stay away from evil and to be on the way of goodness is an act of worship. Dear brothers and sisters, another condition of walking in way to paradise in good morals, akhlaq, it is to become sincere towards our Rabb, ourselves and other people. It is never to leave the truth and right away. It is to always keep your promise. It is a never betray trust because a believer cannot harm anyone. As the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describe believer as the person from whose hands and speech other people are safe. A traveler of paradise cannot waste his short life with talking attitudes and behaviors that will damage the honor and dignity of the human being who is created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a respected being. A believer practice good morals by accepting the following hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. If you don't feel shame, haya, do as you wish. My brothers and sisters, I would like to finish my khutbah with the following dua. O oh Allah, I ask of you for paradise and that which brings me closer to it. 
of speaking or actions. And I seek refuge with you from the hellfire and that which takes me closer to it of speaking or actions. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم التوفيق الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده Peygamberimiz sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem cennete girmeye vesile olacak en önemli huzus nedir diye soran bir sahabiye takva yani Allah'a karşı sorumluluk bilinci ve güzel ahlaktır buyurmuştur. Aziz müminler, Yüce Rabbimiz bizlere birbirini takip eden iki hayat vermiştir. Birincisi fani, kısa ömürlü ve kazanca dönüştürülmesi gereken dünya hayatıdır. İkincisi ise ebedi ve ölümsüz olan ahiret hayatıdır. Dünya hayatı ahirete uzanan zorlu ve sonlu yoldur. Ahiret hayatı ise dünya tarlasında ektiğimizi, biçeceğimiz, yapıp ettiklerimizin karşılığını eksiksiz göreceğimiz bir hayattır. Cennete giden yola imanla girilir. Zira ebedi kurtuluş imandan geçer. Allah'ın varlığına ve birliğine, O'nun peygamberlerine, meleklerine, kitaplarına, ahiret gününe, kaza ve kaderin Allah'tan olduğuna gönülden inanmak, mümin olabilmenin ilk şartıdır. Kardeşlerim, cennete giden yolda ilerleyebilmenin şartı ibadettir, salih ameldir. İhlasla kılınan namaz, samimiyetle tutulan oruç, haç, zekat, kurban nasıl birer ibadetse, Sırf Allah rızası gözetilerek yapılan her bir güzel iş de bir ibadettir. Anne babamıza, eşimize, evladımıza, komşu ve akrabamıza can taşıyan her bir varlığa iyilikte bulunmak ibadettir. Hayatı birbirimize kolay kılmak, sahip olduğumuz nimet ve imkanları kardeşlerimizle paylaşmak, yardımlaşmak, bir ibadettir. Tutamayan eli, göremeyen gözü, yürüyemeyenin ayağı, konuşamayanın dili olmak bir ibadettir. Hasılı, kötülükten uzak durmak ve iyilik yolunda olmak gayreti bir ibadettir. Aziz müminler, cennete giden yolda yürüyebilmenin güzel şartı ahlaktır. Rabbimize kendimize, çevremize karşı samimiyeti kuşanmaktır. Doğruluk ve istikametten asla ayrılmamaktır. Ahde vefayı elden bırakmamaktır. Emanete ihanet etmemektir. Kardeşlerim, hutbemi şu duayla bitiriyorum. Allah'ım, senden cenneti ve bizi cennete yaklaştıran söz ve amelleri isteriz. Cehennem ateşinden ve bizi ona yaklaştıran söz ve davranışlardan sana sığınırız. Amin. Auzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. İnnallaha ve malaikatehu yusallun alen nebiy. يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد 
اللهم انصر الإسلام وأعز المسلمين اللهم وحد صفوف المسلمين اللهم احفظ المسلمين في كل مكان يا رب العالمين اللهم اقسم لنا من خشيتك ما تحول به بيننا وبين معاصيك ومن طاعتك ما تبلغ به جنتك ومن اليقين ما تهون به علينا مصائب الدنيا اللهم متعنا بأسماعنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا ما أحييتنا واجعله الوارث منا واجعل ثأرنا على من ظلمنا وانصرنا على من عادانا ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ علمنا ولا تسلط علينا من لا يرحمنا إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون أقم الصلاة